So something I noticed when I was getting into Linux and Mac and shell scripting is the fact that you have global commands like cat and you can do them from anywhere. So you, or ls, um, I, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, so you can do them from anywhere. You don't have to be in a specific directory. Um, yeah, but for example, um, to run commands like this a script thing, I can't run it anywhere. So I can't go back a directory and then a script. It doesn't work. So how do you make commands or scripts global? So first we're going to make a script. I'm just going to get rid of this a script. We're going to, we're going to do touch a script dot sh. We're going to do vim a script and we're going to do i echo wow a script. Okay, so we can't actually run it yet. We have to do chmod plus x a script and now we can run it. Okay, so another thing I was curious about is why does ls not need an sh command um, but this does? So the answer is it doesn't. Um, you can make a script, you can move a script, a script, and then just get rid of the sh, and then it will still work just as well. So you have all these directories like bin and sbin, which I think bin, it's meant for startup. Um, let's look down here. This directory contains executable programs which are needed for a single user mode to bring the system up or repair it. So you have all these different bin uh, folders. Where do you put your script? Um, I'm pretty sure you can read for yourself and try to figure it out yourself, but I'm pretty sure uh, user slash use user slash local slash bin binaries for programs local to the site. So, um, or here we have a different explanation, is for normal user programs not managed by the distribution package manager. Uh, example, locally compile packages. So if we look in slash USR user slash local slash bin, we can see all these, uh, uh, they're actually aliases, but anyways, um, for example, you have like Moldad, uh, which I downloaded myself. So, um, like user local bin Moldad. So I think it's for things that you install or create yourself. Anyways, so you have to be a root to move things into this directory, but you don't actually have to be a root to run thing root to run things. So we're going to move a script into slash user local bin permission de denied. And this is another thing that's cool. I can show you guys. If you forget to put sudo before a command, then you can do sudo uh, explanation point explanation point, and it will copy your last um, command. So now, as you can see, a script is gone. We can't actually run it yet. We need to open a new instance of your um, terminal. And now we can run a script and wow, a script. So that's how you run things, uh, shell scripts locally without the .sh extension. Um, have fun and take a look at this if you're curious about all these different directories.